Yeah, yeah those are these are the trees that walk. The trees that walk? Yes, these three walks. These are the ones that jump a lot, right? Yeah, look at his legs. In this video, I'm gonna take you on a walk through the secondary forest in the Amazon region. You'll explore how the locals cultivate their food and you'll encounter some unique plants and insects. And stick around until the end to hear an interesting story about our guide's experience in the forest. One of the main aspects of agriculture in the settlement is their land management techniques. They select a piece of land and spend like three, four months preparing it for planting. Over the next three, four years, they need to take care of the crops and keep a close watch for caterpillars to prevent damage. After this period, they leave the plot untouched, allowing it to be reclaimed by wild vegetation, while they shift their cultivation efforts to a different area. Here they grow various crops like yucca, plantain, sugarcane and uh, other. For instance, this is how plantains grow, resembling bananas but being a different fruit. Working in the fields is a demanding daily task. People need to be vigilant against butterflies that pose a threat to the crops and generally care for the plants to ensure a bountiful harvest. For example, these plantain trees are expected to yield five to seven significant bunches of plantains, but if not properly cared for, they won't meet these expectations. The scenery here is exceptionally picturesque, and each family has their own piece of land that they cultivate to produce food for their own consumption. Selling surplus produce is rare due to the high cost and complexity of transporting goods from this remote location. It involves multiple stages, such as transporting the harvest home, then another town by boat, and further steps to reach a market. Nevertheless, in these settlements, they do actually sell a portion of their produce to the hotel we stayed in. People here make a conscious effort to avoid venturing into the primary forest. I'll show it to you in my other videos. But they also notice that it's becoming increasingly challenging to achieve a good harvest in the secondary forest because the soil requires more time to recover. Meanwhile, our guide shared a small piece of cedar bark from a beautiful large tree with me. Cedar is not only used for wood, but also has an medicinal application here. Oh, if only I could share the scent with you. This is lemongrass, typically used to make tea. But take a look at this beautiful plant. It imparts an incredibly fresh fragrance. This tree is relatively young and its top has been cut because the leaves from the tree are used for constructing roots. However, it boasts an unusual root system. As you can see, some roots remain in the ground as the tree kind of walks, while others extend upwards, causing the tree to move towards the shade at an approximately rate of one meter per year. Yeah, those are these are the trees that walk. The trees that walk? Yes, these three walks. What? So let me explain to you this because this Please. is one of the most beautiful things in nature. Wow. You see that the root system looks like as though it's out, no? Yes. So this guy starts moving for shade. So you ah. see him here and you see these roots, they'll start going down here. Uh huh. And then they'll start lifting those ones and they'll keep and they'll start moving. No. They can move like, I think I read it's like uh, a meter a year. Wow. Yes. I never even knew that yeah, exists. Yeah, yeah. And trees, look at the, the, land where at the, the, at the spikes. Yes. To just so these are his legs. Protecting. And his, imagine, imagine this is like a, a, a tree walking at a super, <laughs> you know, slow pace. Yes. You know, he's like, and he will move. He will keep moving. Impressive! During February and March, when there is abundant rainfall and water level rises, local snakes attempt to move closer to dry land from the water, and in some cases they may become more aggressive towards people. It's essential to be more cautious during this season. This part of the forest was previously harvested and is now in the process of regrowth. Like, I understood this from Guide's explanation, but I'm curious about how these trees have grown so significantly in just three years. Perhaps they selectively used specific areas of the territory. Here is an example of a black tree used in house construction because it's resistant to rot. I mentioned this when I discussed the Maloka in my previous video. 
This plant is known as Cania agria and is utilized for its medicinal properties, particularly against diarrhea or fever. The helicon plant, found in Bogota stores as well, is typically purchased for home decorations. Oh, check out this insect called a stick. It's quite remarkable as it mimics a stick on a tree branches. Hello, little guy. No, wait. Wow! Probably you've seen one of those on TV at least. In Colombia, there isn't a tradition of picking mushrooms in the forest, but you can often encounter interesting, although likely non edible, mushroom species. Here we have two types of yucca plants, one with green leaves and another with dark purple leaves. There is even a third type with green leaves but red branches. Each type of yucca has a slightly different taste and, for example, this type is ground into granules and mixed with water for consumption, unlike the other varieties. The yucca cycle typically lasts 3-4 months, uh, yielding around 5-6 root crops when harvested. Huh, it seems like this tree is a hub for insect romance, as there are numerous insects engaging in amorous activities here. Meet the aguaje, the largest palm tree you can find in the Amazon. And here is the promised intriguing story from our new guide for this walk. The last one about anacondas I shared in the previous video, so have a look at that. But for now, exclusively for you, Robinson shared his story that he was bitten by a scorpion once. Yeah, he like definitely felt unwell and this guy would spend like a couple of days with him interacting. He's super strong and he has some other crazy stories for next videos. But yeah, this was the first time we saw him and he told us this and he was like, yeah, I felt very bad for three days, but fortunately people in the community know a lot about medicinal plants and they just found a plant that healed him. But nonetheless, I would not want to experience any kind of bite from insects or anacondas here in the area, even though these people might know <laughs> something about the plants. But yeah, stay on the safe side. Uh, Para qué? Some oh. medicine uh -huh, to for cure. the children, for wounds. These like, are the ones that jump a lot, right? Yeah, look at his legs. In any case, what an extraordinary place to explore. If you want to see more of Incredible Amazon, be sure to watch my next video and don't forget to subscribe for more captivating content from Colombia and the world.